Alright, so the Tech Kalen Khalifla Dokkan Festival banner will be dropping on Global very, very soon. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at their animations, the unit details, the brand new category, of course, the banner itself, and all that good stuff to hopefully help you guys decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned Dragonstones to try to pull them, or instead save for something else in the future. Now, real quick, before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Gamersups. Season 2 of their Waifu Cup collection is now officially live on their website, along with a bunch of shirts, sweaters, sleeves, and of course, supplements. So if you guys want a chance to pick one of these up for yourselves before they run out, which should be relatively soon, then definitely head down to the link in my description, gamersups.gg and use my discount code TIGER for 10% off your entire purchase. That's Gamersubs, go check them out. And uh, yeah, with that said, let's jump into the video. So right now we have the Dokkan Fest banner in front of us, but before we look at that, let's actually pop over to the official Dokkan Twitter page and watch the animations for the Kaelin Khalifla as well as the Int Super Saiyan Kaba. So let me just full screen this. And uh, why don't we turn up the volume just a little bit. There we go. And uh, enjoy. There you have it, Ellen Khalifla slash Kefla, and also the uh, Int Kaba. Um, what can I say? They all look really, really good. Even Kappa. I mean, for a side unit, he has some great animations, especially the one with uh, Vegeta, the unit super attack, right? But uh, Kellen Khalifla, I gotta say, man, out of the Dokkan Fest units in the game right now, probably have like top five animations somewhere in that range and that was the case for the str kefla as well right so it seems like they definitely love telling khalifla or kefla at uh, akatsuki because they definitely put a lot of effort into these animations every time and uh the one thing that i will say is like i'm never used to the english voices you know because i always watch uh anime like 95 percent of my anime in uh japanese right with the subs so when I hear the English voices, it just like throws me off a little bit. Obviously, I prefer the Japanese voices, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. So those are the animations, guys. Great active skill, great super attack, especially the Kefla one with the, I don't remember the name of the attack, but like the, you know, two giant spinny discs she has and she combines them. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. You know what? Let me just play it one more time for you guys. Uh, out loud. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that's sick. Okay, so those are the animations. Let's move on to the banner now. And I gotta say, guys, this is a really, really good regular Dokkan Festival banner. Of course, we're not comparing it to download celebration banners or anniversaries, but just for a normal banner, there is a lot of value here. There are a lot of good units featured here. And I just noticed actually that <laughs> on the banner art, it looks like Videl has a tail, but obviously that's from the uh, Gogeta. Anyways, scrolling down a little bit here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven featured SSRs. Uh, all of them are Dokkan Festival units, with the exception of the new Int Kaba. And like I said, guys, we have some amazing value here. We have essentially at least three of the top five TURs in the game, and I do include Alien Khalifla in that list. And aside from that, I mean, STR Kefla on the right team is still really, really powerful. Of course, the issue with her is that you do need to bring an orb changer to really get the most out of her, but nonetheless, she's still very good. And Tech Hit is actually absolute garbage on Global right now, but we know that he's going to be getting an Extreme Z Awakening in the near future. That makes him amazing, so he's actually a really good pull now. And I guess the weak link on this banner would be this guy right here, the STR Super Saiyan Blue Kak and Goku. But I wouldn't be surprised if he also got an Extreme Z Awakening within the next six to eight months. That makes him a top tier TUR, you know? So overall, this banner is just really, really good. You guys know how uh, powerful the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is. We know that Videl on the right team is literally the best TUR in the game, if not top three, right? So um, if I were to give this banner a rating, I think it gets a solid 8.5 out of 10. Now for context, for most Dokkan Fest banners, I usually rate them like a seven. So this is very much an above average Dokkan Fest banner compared to most that we've seen. So the banner is great. Now let's move on to the actual units themselves. So starting with the Kale and Khalifla, their leader skill is Bond of Friendship or Rapid Growth, category Q plus three, HP plus 130%, and attack and defense plus 170%. So Bond of Friendship, of course, is the new category. So let's take a look at that. And it says, consists of characters that share a deep friendship Bond. So this is honestly kind of ambiguous, I guess, but if you take a look at the actual units in this category, it's a very, very solid category. We got, you know, a bunch of LRs, of course, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, of course, Killing Khalifla, uh, AGL UI Goku, uh, Int Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan God Goku, STR UI, LR Krillin, um, the LR Broly trio is here as well, kind of random, but it makes sense. And uh, as far as the TURs go, a lot of great options, guys. I'm not going to really highlight all of them, but you can just take a look. There are uh, probably over a hundred units in this category. So when it comes to team building, they do have a lot of uh, really good options. So even though I'm not going to say this is like one of the best categories in the game or anything like that, it's uh, it's up there. It's up there. It's not just one of those throwaway categories that they created just to, you know, give a new unit a category, right? Like this is a legit category. So as far as the question of, you know, whether this unit is worth summoning for just to run this new category, uh, the answer is kind of, kind of. Of course, you don't need to be able to run this category. There's not like a super battle stage where you need to have a a bond of friendship team to complete it or anything like that. But what I'm saying is, as far as new categories are concerned, this is definitely one of the better ones. So that is the bond of friendship category. Uh, their super attack raises attack and defense, which can be infinitely stacked and causes immense damage. Passive is attack and defense plus 160%, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, and this of course is a 30% chance, plus an additional attack and defense plus 6% with each attack performed up to 60%, plus an additional attack plus 60% when attacking if there is a 
Universe Survival Saga category enemy. Their active skill is Special Fusion, which forms Patara Fusion into Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, can be activated starting from the 6th turn, from the start of battle, once only. Links are the Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, Battlefield Diva, Warriors of Universe 6, Term of Power, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle, and categories are Peppy Gals, Universe Survival Saga, Patara, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Universe 6, Joint Forces, uh, Super Saiyan 2, Final Trump Card, Rapid Growth, Time Limit, Bond of Friendship, and Accelerated Battle. So, when you look at the build of this character, it's pretty obvious that this was a unit meant for longer events, right? Because of the infinitely stacking attack and defense, the uh, building up of attack and defense on the passive here, and also the turn 6 restriction for the fusion, which obviously is quite long. So if you want to get the most out of this unit, you do want to run them on a Legendary Goku event, Legendary Vegeta event, Infinite Dragon Ball History, and so on and so forth. But with that said, it doesn't mean that they're not going to be good for shorter events like Super Battle Road, or of course Dokkan events where you can really run any team you want. Um, they're still going to perform well in those shorter events because they build up pretty quickly, right? They have the chance to launch up to two supers from their passive alone. If you have any hidden potential investment or additional skill orbs, then they could potentially launch three supers in a turn. So the building up of attack and defense should be good enough for most, if not all events in the game. But once again, in longer events like the legendary Goku event, that's where they're really going to shine. Now, moving on to the Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, Super Attack raises attack and causes immense damage, and passive is recovers 60% HP once only, attack and defense plus 160%, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a Super Attack, which once again is 30%, high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including Super Attacks, plus an additional attack and defense plus 60% when attacking, plus an additional attack plus 60%, when attacking with six or more key spheres obtained. And links are Super Saiyan, Fused Fighter, Battlefield Diva, Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power, Hour Bestowed by God, and Fierce Battle, and categories are the same as before. So the Kefla is a more offensive version of the Kale and Khalifla. She stops building defense, but she gets a lot more attack on her passive and also more defense on her passive as well. And uh, if you get six or more key spheres for her, just like the STR Kefla, she becomes absolutely crazy with this additional 60% attack. So overall, as I said, man, a top, top tier TUR, no question, one of the best in the game. Uh, top five, I think, is pretty reasonable, but at the very least, you definitely can't put her outside of the top 10, I would say. But I think top five is much closer. So that is the Kale and Khalifla. Um, there's not really much more to say about it. I just think they're a really, really powerful unit. Uh, are they as good as the upcoming STR Super Vegeta within the next few months? Probably not, but she's right there. She's right there. So uh, let's quickly talk about the Int Cabinet, which of course is, like I said, the side unit on the banner. His leader skill is Bond of Master and Disciple, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack, raises attack, causes supreme damage, and unit super attack raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage, and it can be activated when there is an ally whose name includes Vegeta, Kid, Junior, etc. excluded on the team. So you don't have to have the Vegeta in the same rotation, as long as the Vegeta's on the team, you're good to go. And passive is attack and defense plus 130%, attack and defense plus 6%, her Universe Survival Saga category ally. On the team, Universe Survival Saga category allies keep plus 3, attack and defense plus 40%, plus an additional attack plus 60% when attacking when your team has an ally whose name includes Vegeta, uh, Junior Kid Excluded, attacking on the same turn. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Courage, Warriors of Universe 6, Term of Power, Super Saiyan, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Universe Survival Saga, Pure Saiyans, Universe 6, Super Saiyans, Bond of Master and Disciple, and Defenders of Justice. So this guy is very good as well. He got that unit super attack that allows him to uh, infinitely stack attack and defense. He is an amazing support for the Universe Survival Saga category. He gets a significant boost for attack and defense if you're running a full Universe Survival Saga team. And uh, he also can do some pretty impressive damage as long as you have 
a Vegeta on the team. And of course, if you have that Vegeta, then he's also stacking attack and defense every turn. So for longer events, he's also going to be extremely tanky and hit really hard. So uh, that's the Kaba. Um, nothing bad to say about him at all. And that pretty much does it for the preview of this upcoming banner slash Dokkan Festival. My opinion is that because of how good the uh, featured units on the banner are, and also uh, how powerful Kamla Khalifla are, how impressive Inj Kaba is, I think this is a banner that's worth dropping some multis on. Um, at most, I would say don't do more than like five or six, because at the end of the day, it's still a regular banner. You want to save most of your stones for big celebrations, like dual Dokkan Fest, like anniversaries, like download celebrations, New Year banners, and so on and so forth, right? So you don't want to go too crazy here, but I think it's definitely worthy of your stones if you care about the Kalen Khalifla. I know that some people are much more excited for the Super Vegeta or something else in the future that you would rather save your stones for, which is fine, but I'm just here to say that if you want to spend some stones on this upcoming banner, you should not feel bad because it's definitely worth your stones, both the new units as well as the rest of the uh, featured pool. So uh, that's it guys, that's gonna be today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully uh, this video helped you make a decision about whether you wanna spend some stones or not. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys plan to do when the banner comes out. Are you gonna be skipping or are you gonna be summoning? And if you're gonna be summoning, then how many stones do you plan to drop uh, on the Kaelin Khalifla? And that's all I gotta say guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.